Uh, welcome to day seven of our cycle. So our chicks are turning day seven today, and we are experiencing something that is my second time experiencing it. For the first time, I didn't know what it is, but now I definitely hundred percent know what I'm being attacked by. So right now we're going to try and take out our drinkers and the feeders. Or we can only take the feeders because I don't want the feet to get wet. But the drinkers, I think they'll be okay if they get wet. So we are attacked by something called... You, I don't even know how to read the, that name or I'm going to say the aspergorosis or something like that. It's when... I'll put the video. It's when your chicks are briefing in certain, in, behaving in a certain way or in a weird way. And... It's believed that in most cases, uh, that's a HRE issue. That's a HRE disease. But with my case right now, oh, we even lost one chick. Uh, as we speak, we just lost uh, one of my chicks. And here it is. So this, this is the second loss today. Because in the morning, I found another one. This is the second one. So this is believed to be one of the deadly viruses. Because the last cycle that I had, we lost so many chicks. And today I spoke to this gentleman and I explained to him that I have an issue in my chicken house. And yeah, and then he says to me that you are facing something called aspe aspergorosis or something like that. So we'll just try now to spray the chicken house. I see I have another bait over there that is behaving the similar way that the other one that just died. So this is the one that we just found now dead. And we have another one. This is it is. You see how it, it, it behaves. So that's what we call aspergorosis, whatever they call it. I don't know if I'm saying it right or wrong. But we're gonna try and, and, and disinfect our chicken house with wood shaving. So it has been believed that sorry, with viral kill, we're gonna try to spray this chicken house with viral kill. Uh, it has been believed that uh, it, it, it's an HRE issue in, in most cases. It happens when you find maybe an egg has been broken in the incubator or something like that. And then it, it, it actually uh, causes diseases like that. And in other cases, you'll find that you have the disease in the chicken house. But in my case, we have disinfected this chicken house properly cleaned. And... The other thing that we didn't disinfect, it was our wood shaving. So, because when we placed in these chicks, we didn't disinfect the wood shaving. Meaning we didn't spray our wood shaving. We're not talking about disinfecting the wood shaving. So, it, 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 it's been believed that that may be the cause. So, we're going to try to spray everything. The, the shaving and... and and everything now because it's believed that that may be the problem so viral kill can fight it and it is not harmful for your cheeks so uh, the guy told me to do that it's a, he's a vet um actually he's a vet the person who told me to do this so don't ask me hey Magwala, why are you taking such information you will kill your chickens uh but yeah I'm definitely facing that something that I never thought I would face again because the last circle I faced it in the other chicken house where we lost so many chickens. And the sad part is that my chicks will feel cold now because I'm spraying them. Uh, no, this thing it's it's splitting water, Baba. The spray is spilling water, Baba. So, yeah. This is what I have. I was going to give you an update of what happened uh, during the day, during the week, I mean to say, about these chickens when we were raising them. But here it comes to me, my attention that I need to share about this bacteria that that, that has attacked me badly.
Yeah, definitely our bed will be wet, but we're gonna turn it now just after I finish uh, spraying. But our cheeks are also gonna be wet, they're gonna start to feel cold. So it's just a risk what we're doing like, basically. But it's necessary. It's necessary, guys. Um I cannot afford to lose more bits because of this virus. So I'm gonna have to spray them with viral kill now to make sure that we disinfect um the baby and yeah whatever issue that we have in this house it's it's definitely bad man yes, yeah, now now my cheeks are getting wet I'm, I'm, feel, I'm feeling pain for them because i can see that they are wet now but i have no choice guys i'm dealing with a deadly virus here so we're gonna try buy something to just to boost their immune system uh I'll, I'll share what i'm going to buy with you but just know that once your chicken are behaving in such way you're gonna lose the entire flock and now they're feeling cold i feel bad I truly feel bad for what I'm doing, but it's necessary. So now you're gonna have to spray the whole house. Sometimes raising chicken is very, it's very tricky. You can do everything right, clean, disinfect, and one, one thing, Jay, one stupid move, in Jay, destroys everything that you have. That's chickens. That's chickens, guys. So one stupid move, in Jay, can destroy everything that you have. That's something you should know. And now we're gonna have a stamp a stamp peak, a serious stamp peak because of the coldness that they are having. Because I've sprayed them a lot. Yeah, but eventually they'll feel fine. Uh, but we're gonna expect a mortality now because we've sprayed these chickens with uh, the thing. We have sprayed them with viral kill. So we're gonna expect immortality because of the stampede that's it. it's gonna happen now in the chicken house. So I feel sad, I feel bad, but there's nothing I can do. You're trying to fight a virus that actually is deadly. There's there's no there's no cure for it. That's one one thing you should know. Uh, but there are measures that you can take to cure it or to prevent it this, that's why we're now trying to spray the house the whole house with viral kill to make sure that it, it, it can fight it so
because it may be we believe it may came with the wood shaving now uh since we took all necessary steps to follow up and check talk to people and they all come to the same conclusion my guy it should be that it came with your shavings or it has been in the house but we don't know where in the house because we've cleaned the house properly so there's a drum this is bad i'm sad guys day seven and this is the issue that i'm facing so i was gonna do an update video telling you about how my day was how we got here and you know how's the progress and stuff like that but yeah um we are facing something that i don't know what, what to call it uh pff, my life has haven't been haven't been good recently man i'm dealing with a lot the personal stuff that i'm going through business as well it's it's been tough yeah it's they haven't been easy at all i haven't been doing okay If you're watching this video just know that uh, i haven't been doing okay i haven't been doing okay at all Yeah, my cheeks are feeling cold. My cheeks are definitely wet, definitely feeling cold. We are definitely going to lose cheeks due to stampede. Yeah, guys. Uh, just keep me in your prayers. That's all I can say. Just keep me in your prayers. That's all I'm going to say to you. 